All right, y'all, I upped the weight. Now we're doing some real work. <laughs> these fitness goals, all of these goals, like you have to develop some mental strength. And that's why I talk about it so much because that's literally what you need like to get through this. Good morning, good morning, you guys, and happy Tuesday. So today is back, biceps and abs, super excited. Favorite day of my entire split. Nothing is sore, you guys. Shoulders feel great, chest feels great, triceps feel great, everything feels great. Even my knees feel great. I told you guys yesterday that my knees were a little achy, probably from the other day when we did glutes, but they feel so much better. I spent so much time yesterday Icing for 20 minutes, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes on. Took some Aleve and they feel a lot better. It's amazing what some ice and Aleve can do for your body. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I'm gonna finish getting myself together in here and then we're gonna head out and start today's weightlifting. All right, you guys, so spent a good little bit of time warming up, about 10 minutes. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna start with my favorite back machine, the isolation row. I have two 45 pound plates on each side, doing alternating sides. And then we're gonna superset that with some lat push downs over at the cable machine. Yeah, figure why not. So since we're in our working sets, I'm gonna add a 25 pound plate to each side. So that'll give me two 45s and a 25 spice things up a little bit. Just gotta find the other 25 pound plate. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I love back day. I think for me, you guys, no, that's a 35. I think for me, you guys, one of the main reasons why back day is like my favorite is because to be honest, my back was the first side, the first part of my body that got the most toned. Because <laughs> I carry most of my weight in the lower half of my body. So, you know, having a toned back <laughs> just kind of kept me hype, you know, kept me motivated, kept me ready. And so, you know, when you start to see some definition and stuff, just makes you want to go harder. So I think that's the main reason why. Plus, you know, a sexy back is sexy, but nothing did not move my table. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Let me see if my music's gonna work. One, two, three, four. That's it. All right, let's go to the cable machine. All right, you guys, we're gonna do some lat push downs. So there's a million and 10 ways to do it. <laughs> if you walk into a gym, you're gonna see everybody do it a little different. <laughs> this is the way I like to get it done. But I've seen some people like bend over more like this and do it. Like it's really, what you want to do. I take more of an upright stance. Like so. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna add a 10 to each side, if I can find one. Yeah. Let's just go up. Today is one of those days where I don't feel like listening to music. I'm more in like a podcast type of vibe, listening to something inspirational. Am I the only one that's like that? It's like not every time I go to the gym do I want to hear like music. Some days I love music, but some days I just kind of like to stimulate my mind. <laughs> All right, let's knock out another set. That's it. I don't know why my grip hurts today. Let's go up five pounds. All right, I added a five to each side. This is gonna be pretty heavy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Added five pounds to that, it's amazing what a five pound difference can do. All right, it's enough of that. 
All right, you guys, so let's do lat pullovers. Have a 45 on each side. Well, I just do like, I don't know, five reps and then get heavier. I always like to do a few warm up sets of anything that I do. Even though my back is already warm, still gonna do a warm up set of the movement that we're gonna do. <laughs> okay? All right. This seat is relatively cold too, just so you know. I hate being cold. Okay. Here we go. Let's add some more weight to this. Let's do a 25 on each side. Okay, that was really heavy. All right. Um, I'm gonna take the 25 off and add, I'm gonna go down 10 pounds. So I, right now I have two 45s and two 25s. I'm gonna keep the two 45s, take the 25s off and add two 10s and two 5s. So going, going down by 20 pounds. That was really heavy. Mm. I left the weight on there. <laughs> I didn't switch anything. So I still have 245s and 225s. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm just gonna try harder to get 10 reps. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. All right, you guys, we're gonna do cable rows. I have the V bar, the narrow one. Cause last time we did these, I think, we, I'm pretty sure we used the wide grip. So I always alternate between like the narrow and the wide. So the narrow one's gonna also work our biceps a little bit more as well. So let's do a few lighter reps and then we'll get heavy. might be a little too light, but it's okay. up the weight. <laughs> All right, y'all, I up the weight. Now we're doing some real work. <laughs> Two. 
I'm going to move the weight up. All right, so I up the weight again. Hold on. You wait for YouTube to let me skip the ad. All right, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> one more set all right you guys last set of this and then we're gonna hit biceps never done the these are pretty much like preacher curls I've never done them on the machine before so let's spend a few seconds trying to find a good weight oh this is really light okay <laughs> I put it on the lightest weight that was okay so that was 30 let's try 50 <laughs> you're getting a little better I let this be like the warm up, so just do like four or five more. All right. I think uh, if we go up ten, so doing sixty, I think that'll be a good weight. All right, you guys, this is our real first set. <laughs> just a failure, per usual. Increase the weight by five pounds. So sixty five. Mm. 
Okay. All right. All right, y'all. These are 20s. That's it. All right, you guys. So finished today's workout. Didn't get to abs today. Unfortunately, been in here for two hours. And honestly, <laughs> you want me to be completely transparent with you? I honestly didn't feel like it. <laughs> Look at me using the word. I don't feel like it. Happens to the best of us, you guys. It happens to the best of us. We'll incorporate abs tomorrow. I don't know. I got in one of those like mellow moods. It's like it wasn't necessarily a rush to leave out of here because, you know, I was I was, you know, lifting heavy and all that. But it, I was more of like in a mellow mood, not necessarily in a intense type of mood. I don't know. I was listening to a podcast. I don't know how to explain it. It's like sometimes I'm like amped up, ready, like you know, ready to train, like I'm training for the Olympics. And then some days, like I'm training, I'm here. It's not like I'm not trying to be here, but I'm just like in a different kind of zone. Let me know if that makes any sense. <laughs> that might not make any sense, but we didn't get to abs today. We'll get to abs tomorrow on leg day. So that's fine. Listen, those lat pullovers, the seated lat pullovers where it looks like I'm doing a crunch, but I'm not the back it was the third back exercise that we did today that shit is hard if your gym has that try it like really try it it is really hard that is really hard it's great for your lats i also wanted to get to the lat pull downs but the machines two people were already on them i didn't feel like waiting i don't know like so i'm saying i was just kind of like in my own little 
mellow, chilled out zone, just kind of chilling or whatever. So it is what it is. We did get through two bad step movements today. So I'm excited about that because normally we only do one, but we got through two. So I'm super excited. And we know there's biceps and back movement. So the biceps definitely got burned out today. I'm excited. I don't know if they'll be sore tomorrow, but we definitely did more than what we typically do on back and bicep day when it comes to biceps. So I'm really excited about that. All right, so I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the workout. So later on today, we are gonna meal prep for the next few days. We're gonna meal prep breakfast and then lunch and dinner. You guys know, some weeks I don't make two meals for lunch and dinner. Like whatever I end up eating for lunch is also dinner. Like, you know, it just is what it is. If it tastes good, I don't really care. So if you want to meal prep, you know, a separate meal for lunch and a separate meal for dinner, go for it. But I'm someone like, I can eat the same thing twice <laughs> in one day as long as it tastes good. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, it is what it is for me. So we're going to meal prep. I am going to go sit in the sauna and meditate for 15 minutes. But I just wanted to chit chat with y'all before I left out of the gym. And I will see you guys a little bit later to meal prep these healthy meals. We're still in a calorie deficit. We're on our spring cut. So got to make sure that I'm not overeating so that we can get rid of some of this body fat and see all of the beautiful muscles we built over the winter through the bulk. So I will see you guys a little bit later. All right, you guys. So meal prep time. <laughs> all right. So I decided to cut everything up first because it was going to take a long time. I have so many vegetables. So I'm just going to tell you about what's in the skillet and then we're going to get started. Okay. So I cut up two zucchinis, one squash, uh, three carrots, three bell peppers, and probably about half of a really large onion. And then I have like two rectangles of mushrooms, like the regular, what are these like baby bellas, whatever they are. So my skillet is filled to the top with veggies. Okay. So now it's time to turn it on and get to cooking. So we are making you guys a stir fry. So I've already cooked my quinoa. I don't really eat too much rice unless I'm ordering rice from this Jamaican spot down the street from my house. That's the only time I eat white rice, white rice, white rice. So <laughs> that's the only time I eat it. Um, other than that, I'm eating right rice made out of vegetables. I've shown you all that before or quinoa. So today is going to be quinoa. So I've already cooked my quinoa and let me show y'all what it looks like. I season my quinoa while it's cooking you guys. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So I season it while it's cooking so it can have a lot more flavor. So I seasoned it with smoked paprika, Cajun, garlic powder, and onion powder. I cooked it in vegetable broth. So it's one part quinoa, two parts broth or water. Like I said, I did vegetable broth. I feel like vegetable broth just, to me, it just makes it taste better, but to each his own, whatever you want to cook it in. Okay. So I got my skillet on. I am going to season my veggies and let them cook down. So let me throw some Cajun, you know, just my standards. Cajun, always. These are the veggie. Oh, the skillet's not even on. I was like, why do I not hear it sizzling? Okay. So Cajun. Look, I was trying to be cute. There's so much vegetables in here, you guys. I'm just using my hand. I don't even give a fuck. Like, it is what it is. Get all in there. Like so. Next, I'm going to do garlic powder. Get all in there. No, the skillet's not hot yet. I literally just turned it on, so I'm not burning myself in this process. Next, I'm going to add smoked paprika. Get all up in there. 
I'm not gonna lie, the smell of vegetables, it smells so good. So good. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add onion powder. I don't really use too much salt, you guys, so I feel like Cajun seasoning has a lot of salt, so well it tastes makes it taste salty, so that's why I always use Cajun. Now, I probably should have <laughs> I didn't think about it. I also got carrots in here and well I'm gonna put carrots in here and frozen broccoli. I guess I can put that in now. What the hell? And these are frozen. Sometimes I'll do the fresh broccoli, but Whole Foods didn't really have any, so just use the frozen. Frozen is fine. Just try to stay away from like canned foods. So frozen veggies, frozen fruit, it's fine. But canned stuff, you guys, it's going to be full of salt, full of preservatives, just full of junk. Okay, so I try my best to avoid... Well, not try. I don't eat canned vegetables. I guess the only time I would eat canned vegetables is if I'm out at a restaurant. I'm sure they're using canned stuff, right? I don't know if they're really back there chopping everything up. But that's why also I like to eat at home. Because you know where your food is coming from. Okay. So I'm going to just mix all this in. I still don't hear this skillet. Because it's not on. Uh, let me troubleshoot the skillet real quick, y'all. Okay, I got it. It wasn't, it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> it wasn't plugged in. Okay, so it's plugged in. Now it's going to start cooking everything. So I'm going to let the vegetables cook a little bit before I start adding my stuff. So I'm going to be adding some coconut aminos. This gives food like a smoky taste. And then I'm going to be adding in some soy sauce as well just to give it some more flavor. But I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit. While it's cooking down, we're gonna meal prep breakfast. See, look, it's easier and quicker to meal prep, you guys, when you multitask, okay? So the veggies are gonna take a good little while. So let's do the breakfast. And by breakfast, this is, this is pre-workout, so I eat this in the car on the way to the gym. So last week you guys seen me prep overnight oats, right? This time I'm going to be doing my silk yogurt. It's dairy free. So I have my containers here. I'm just going to do four days worth. It's fine. The vegetables smell so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, get everything out. So, this is the yogurt that I've been eating, you guys. Silk, vanilla. It's really good. To me, it tastes like regular yogurt. Okay. To me. Okay, but it really does. It really does. And one serving is 150 calories, three and a half grams of fat, seven grams of protein. So it's a great protein source, okay? And sugars, 18 grams of sugar. So it's a little high on the sugar side. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little high, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Y'all, I was eating this the whole time, every single day when I lost my initial 115 pounds, I had no issues losing weight. So, you know, it's okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take a little spoon right now. Mm. Okay, so three fourths cups, I have my three fourths cup measure here. I am just going to measure out three fourths cup of yogurt and put it in. Now they do have the individual packs but you guys it's a lot more expensive so i mean hey if you got it like that go for it but i feel like food is so high i have no problem divvying this out so yeah the ones the individual packs it's like i think it's like three dollars for one like it's something crazy as hell and it was pissing me off because every time i would go to kroger they wouldn't have it. They wouldn't have the big ones. 
And I'm like, why should I pay extra for the little ones? Because y'all don't have the big ones. Like, please make it make sense. What? But they finally stocked up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. And yes, I lick the foil. <laughs> this yogurt is good as hell. It really is. If you want to try, I, I encourage you to try it. I got it on my glasses and everything. <laughs> and the plain is cool too. If I get the plain, I will add like a tablespoon of maple syrup to it. But the, pl the plain is cool. I haven't had the strawberry or the blueberry flavor, so I don't know. All right, and then let me do All right, so the yogurt is all rationed out. This container is now empty. Okay. <laughs> I'm like a straight savage. Don't, hey, hey. That's how good this yogurt is. <laughs> it's really good. I love it. Okay. So next we're going to do one cup of blueberries per container. So let me rinse these off real quick. I think I already rinsed them, but I don't know. I'll rinse them again. And again, I have my one cup measure here, you guys. The vegetables are still cooking. I'm about to flip them, flip them. I'm about to stir them. All right, so one cup, hold on, let me. So this is how I do it, you guys. You multitask, you finish it quicker. Sometimes when I'm making the vegetables, I'll add some vegetable broth, but I have so many vegetables in this skillet you guys and I don't I want them to be more sauteed than boiled sometimes you know vegetables create a juice anyways and I just feel like if you have too much juice in there it's more of like a boil it's more of like a boiled taste I don't know how to explain it I don't know I didn't add any vegetable broth to it all I did was um spray some avocado oil on the skillet to keep stuff from sticking. All right, so back to blueberries. I go through a shit ton of blueberries, you guys. Blueberries, you can't, there's no such thing as too many blueberries, okay? Eat as much as you want, literally. Eat as many blueberries as you want. It's full of fiber, low in calories, low in sugar. You can have as many as you want, like go fucking nuts like knock yourself out all right I need some more blueberries I have plenty in the fridge I have three more cases I go listen I go through some blueberries now I really do I be eating the shit out of blueberries I used to like strawberries too but I noticed like every time I would go to Whole Foods like last year to get strawberries they were like nasty. I don't know. So I just kind of stopped. I don't know. I haven't had strawberries in a minute. But strawberries are good too. I just, they weren't, I don't know. I don't know. It just to be dependent on the grocery store sometimes. All right. So one cup of blueberries. I'm going to put these back. So... Next, I'm going to add my favorite little treat, which is some dark chocolate chips. Most, not all dark chocolate chips, you guys, are vegan. So if you want plant-based plant 
dark chocolate chips, make sure you check the back of the package. And not all dark chocolate chips, in my opinion, taste the same. They're not all created equal. Whole Foods brand of dark chocolate chunks are so good. They're so good. They're so good. So I'm going to grab my one tablespoon measurer right here. And I'm going to do one tablespoon, just a little, it's just a little treat. One tablespoon of dark chocolate chunks, like so. This one was missing a few. <laughs> this one was missing a few. I didn't scoop it all the way. Okay. <laughs> so good. I love dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Okay. So that's it for the containers. So I'm going to just close these up. The last thing we're going to do to prep pre-workout meal is the granola. So I don't put the granola in until day of because I don't want the granola to get soggy. Okay. So let me put these to the side and let me show you all the granola that I have. So again, these come from Whole Foods. This is the flavor, Elizabeth, purely Elizabeth, maple, almond, butter. So good. So good. So we're going to do one third cup. I have a one third cup measure. Let me get some little Ziploc baggies for us. So we have four. So I'll get four bags. Normally I use the same bag, but since I'm meal prepping with you guys, you know, <laughs> for aesthetic purposes, for the point, I'll, I'll go ahead and use four Ziploc baggies. But typically you guys, I'll just use the same one until I feel like it got dirty and I'll just throw it away and get another one. <laughs> That's how I like to conserve on things, but eh, it's for YouTube, so why not? Okay, and I, you know, it's, I like the top, when you first open a bag of granola, I feel like the top is always the best because you get like the really big clusters. As you get to the bottom of a bag of granola, it gets like crummy. <laughs> I don't know, not my favorite. But this granola is really good like by itself as well. Oh, and um, one serving is 130 calories, six grams of fat, three grams of protein. So not bad. Let me open up this one. And my vegetables are still cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and add the soy sauce and the coconut aminos to this real quick. So let's take a pause from breakfast prep pre-workout prep. So let me, let me move this out the way so y'all can see how much I'm adding. Look, we're multitasking in this kitchen. <laughs> we are trying to get the job done as quickly as possible. Some weeks I don't mind being in the kitchen a lot and some weeks I do. Okay. So bring this up. All right. I'll start with my coconut aminos. It looks like soy sauce. Let me show you guys. So coconut aminos here. Okay. And you can get this anywhere, not just Whole Foods. They, they have this anywhere. So I'm just going to drizzle some on my veggies and stir. Okay. And then, well, let me taste it. Make sure I added enough. Mm. 
Yeah, that's plenty. And then my soy sauce. Oh, no, where's my soy sauce? Reduced sodium soy sauce. Now, when it comes to me and soy sauce, I don't like stuff that tastes too soy saucy. Does that make sense? Like, I like a little hint. I don't want it to be drenched. So, again, I just feel like soy sauce has a very strong taste. I feel like it does. Okay. So I'm going to mix that all the way through and then taste it. Oh, I was like, what? Because I feel like these are taking forever. It was only on 200. I'm like, this should be done by now. <laughs> okay. I turned the skillet up. Like the vegetables are hot, but they're not cooked. All right. <clears throat> God, yeah. Mmm. I swallowed some of the sauce pots. Mm. Oh man. Burnt my throat on the way down. Okay. I might add some more. I'm going to let it cook a little bit more and then kind of just add to taste. I'm going to put a little more. <clears throat> Mm. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, so we'll let that cook some more. Let me clean my workstation. this down I can't cook and mess y'all some people like to let all their dishes get dirty before they put them away and counters be looking all crazy I can't I can't function like that anymore like I, I used to be like that I used to cook like that I can't like everything just has to be clean like I just I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know I like to throw trash away as I as needed, like I don't just stack all the trash and just, I don't know. I think I've gotten a little OCD over the years. <laughs> all right, so back to the granola. So we did one baggie. We have three more to do. Now, you guys, I'm not going to lie to you. It takes a lot of discipline to do this. To do this every week. Every week. And for us, this is like every couple of days. Because I want to give you guys new stuff to use and try. I don't want to be boring. I'm boring. <laughs> if I wasn't filming for you guys, like I would have never even made the overnight oats. Overnight oats were good, don't get me wrong, but... I just really love this breakfast. Like, I ate the silk yogurt literally every day, like I said, when I lost my initial weight. Like, every day. But instead of blueberries, I was using uh, strawberries. But I ate that every single day. Silk yogurt, strawberries, and granola. Every day. Like, for months and months and months. And never got sick of it. Never got sick of it. It was delicious. It's still delicious. So... That's what I'm saying. Like, me personally, I can eat the same thing all the time. <laughs> like, I really can. Sometimes I get sick of stuff, yes. But, you know, for the most part, I, I don't. So, you know. You know. Um, all right. So, let me dump the rest of this in the 
other bag. Hold on, because I'm gonna throw this bag away because it's literally just crumbs in here. So might as well just transfer crumbs from one bag to another and then to another and to another. All right, so this will be used at a later date. Now this was a little expensive, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like $8.99 for this little bag, but it's so good. It's so good, y'all, it's so good. Okay, so now let us put this in my fitness pal because I want y'all to see how we do this. All right, you guys, so I have my fitness pal up. So we're gonna just call it breakfast. So one tablespoon of dark chocolate mini chunks. I hope y'all can see this. Like I can't see what y'all see, so <laughs> I'm trying. Hopefully it works out for us. One tablespoon of dark chocolate chunks. So I'm gonna add that. One cup of blueberries. Then we did three fourths cup of vanilla dairy-free yogurt silk. So I'm gonna click add. See, it remembers your routine. So I don't have to search for it because I eat this regularly. And then my granola. Okay. So let's go to. Oh, shit. I did something wrong. Hold on. Uh, I clicked on something twice. Oh, the yogurt. I clicked on it twice. Okay. So all together, let's go down to nutrition because this is the only thing that I've logged so that we can see. All right. So. All together, it's 11 grams of protein, 52 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fiber, 29 grams of sugar, so it's a little high, but it's not bad, 18 grams of fat, and then the fat breakdown, 6 grams of saturated fat, okay, and for the amount of calories, all together, 392 calories for pre-workout, so not bad. All right, you guys, so I tidied up a little bit. So let's go ahead and add our cooked quinoa to our containers. So I was playing around with the macros in my fitness pal. So it looks like we can do one cup of cooked quinoa per dish. So I think we'll have enough for four. So I cooked two, I did two cups of quinoa and four cups of vegetable broth. So I should have two cups cooked quinoa in here. So we'll see. So if so, that's enough for four containers. And my vegetables are just about done. The only other thing I did was add some more coconut aminos. Again, I was just like adding to taste. It's, it's what you want it to taste like. So I have my one cup measurer here. I could probably just scoop it for real. And you want to make sure that when you cook, if you do decide to cook quinoa, make sure you get it nice and soft. It shouldn't be hard or anything, okay? All right. So I'm just measuring out one cup. So one cup of cooked quinoa is going to be 226 calories, 8 grams of protein, and let me see. Uh... Where are we at? Eight grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, and three and a half grams of fat. So not bad at all. This week I will do my protein powder drink for my post-workout meal. I didn't eat it last week because I didn't need to because we had lentils last week. So lentils are full of protein, like full of protein. So... I didn't need to do it. I was hitting my protein with just doing the lentils. Um, but this week, I'll, I'll, need to, I'll have to do my protein powder to make sure I still hit my protein goals. Okay, so I have, I have a little bit left. Well, more than a little bit. I have enough for a whole nother tray. So let me add, make another tray. I'm like looking to see if we're going to see the solar eclipse or not. I haven't seen it yet. My mom said between two and four. So we got like another hour. 
Okay, so I have enough for six trays. So perfect. I love this. I love this. <laughs> this is wonderful. Okay. Me fill my measuring cup up. Perfect. All right. No more quinoas left. All right. And my vegetables are done, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn them off. And we'll just do one cup of veggies in the container. There's no such thing as too many vegetables, you guys. No such thing. All right. So I'm just filling my one cup measuring thing up. And you know, I don't include the calories of the vegetables, to be honest. I don't know. And I don't care. <laughs> like I said, there's no such thing as too many vegetables. Yes, there's protein in here, but I have no idea how much. Because I did put broccoli in here. We put zucchini in here. Um... So, you know. Hopefully I have enough. I should have enough. And if I have a little extra, I'll just spread them out amongst all the trays so that there's nothing left over. Yeah, I do have extra. Okay. No problem. Oh, I am making the biggest mess. Just try to, I'm a, I'm, I told y'all I'm a little OCD. So I'm like, okay, let's spread this around evenly. I think OCD is on a spectrum. I'm like medium. Okay. I'm like medium OCD. Okay. a little bit more yay <laughs> this is perfect all right I'm about to show you my creations but yeah you guys like I said meal prepping is discipline because this is this is not easy this is not easy doing this and committing to this weekly or however often you want to meal prep is not easy. I'm actually going to eat one after we finish recording. But you know what I'm saying? When it comes to these weight loss goals that y'all have, these fitness goals, all of these goals, like you have to develop some mental strength. And that's why I talk about it so much because that's literally what you need like to get through this. This is what you need. So let me show you guys the containers. All right, you guys. So this is my, these are my containers. Don't they look so pretty? Look at that. So pretty. Look how pretty the vegetables look. Okay. Period. So this is six meals here. Six healthy meals full of fiber and protein, unprocessed foods. So this is perfect. All right, you guys. So this pretty much concludes today's video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me this morning. If you want to see all of the crazy things we did on chest, shoulder, and tricep day, make sure you click right here. <laughs> click right here right here right here and i will see you guys tomorrow dark and early for legs <laughs> bye you guys